So I figured I'd do an update video before I move completely out of this building. So I'm actually moving to a completely new location. So new shop, new tractor area, new everything. This is actually the last video in this shed that I'll be doing. So I thought I'd just walk through everything. And if it's not here, it's actually at the new location. So I'm just gonna show you a few things I've been doing, a couple of tractors I've been working on, and then in probably around two or three weeks, I'll get another video on a full new shop tour of the new place. And I can't wait to show it to you because I think it's pretty cool. So first things first, the 74 SS16 that I got a few weeks back, I tore it completely apart. I got the Onan engine actually unseized. All it was was the flywheel, uh, flywheel was just jammed full of a mouse nest. So it actually turns over and has good compression. Cylinders look nice. It just needs a carburetor, ignition coil, and new head gaskets because I ruined them when I took, them, took it apart. So this tractor, I made some new side frames for it since I'm, I am going to restore it. Old ones are right there. I have the front axle soaking in some PB blaster so I can get that off of the frame. Um, I'm not sure if I said before, but my plans with this tractor is to turn it into that all white 500,000 tractor because I think that'd be kind of cool. It would just about complete my collection. Um, other thing I'd like to figure out is this rear frame. It's really rusty, really rusty right here. And right down here, it's actually really, really bad. So I have another rear frame, but it's off of an 18.6, which is thinner and not quite right. It has extra holes towards the back. So, I mean, I could use that one or fix this one. I'm probably gonna use the other frame, but it's got brand new side frames for it. I'm gonna try my best to make some new floorboards that look exactly like the factory ones. Otherwise, I'll make new floorboards. They'll go on another SS16, and then those will go on this tractor. Honda GX340 sitting right there, ready to go in something. And then, if you remember, my 76 SS18 had a blowing up 18 horsepower Briggs in it that I blew up. So I figured out the cause of why it actually blew up. So I took the old engine apart, which is this one here in this box. And of course I had a blowing connecting rod. After draining the oil, I realized that it basically, it ran out of oil. Even though the dipstick said full, it didn't nearly have enough oil in it. So I don't know. So I guess next time I'll just overfill it. Or uh, and then I'll also bend the dipstick up to make it a little bit shorter and make it read uh, emptier than it actually is kind of a thing. So this has a new block, which is actually a vertical shaft block because these Briggs twins, you can actually use a vertical shaft block on a horizontal. So what you gotta do is drill out a hole in the block that's already kind of there. You just gotta drill it through for the dipstick. Um, change out the oil pan, the side cover, add that little little metal piece that goes down like this that flings oil for lubrication. Uh, change the intake. Uh, basically everything has to be changed besides the black. But I mean, if you have a horizontal Briggs and you blow it up, you don't have to find another horizontal Briggs block. You can you just find a vertical shaft and swap it out. Um, so I just got that done actually a few minutes ago. I fixed some leaks on the loader and I added a Predator 420 with electric start to it because it got really annoying trying to pull start it. It had a Honda GX340 without electric start and trying to pull start it through here and I put some duct tape over a bolt that's right there and it's kind of sharp on the end of this metal right here. It's kind of an accident waiting to happen. So I added electric start and just this little coat hanger that goes to the carburetor for the choke. And that seems to be working good. So I got that done. I fixed the flat tires on the Hydro 13 Roper and the Roper uh, 16 horsepower single cylinder. Um, another big thing that I've done, I guess before that is I put a three point hitch on the 19.9. That's off the 74 SS16. Of course, a uh, Suburban 15. 
Both GT18s are right here, still doing good. I drove these a few days ago. Uh, the 73 getting turned into a 74 because I wanted the 73 steering wheel for another restoration I'm working on. So 73 converted to 74 ST16. I used all kinds of SOS pads to uh, get rid of that nasty film that was over top of the original paint. And I had a few cans of Rust-Oleum clear coat laying around in a rattle can. So I just went and rattle canned it in clear coat and I actually think it looks pretty good. So this hood is not off this tractor because it was missing a hood when I got it, but it blends in really nice all original paint on tractor and hood. So I think this will just be a, a nice one. Doesn't have a Tecumseh, but I have all the shrouds and stuff for it in original paint. So if I ever find another overhead valve Tecumseh, I can throw that in here and make it all original. So right now I actually bought two Honda engines at an auction for $15 and I spent another 80 bucks getting them running with carburetors, recoils, miscellaneous stupid parts that they needed to work. Um, this one here, which is a 270, which is a nine horsepower. And then this one here that ended up in my Roper 16T, which is a, what is it? Oh, it's a GX340, which is 11 horse. I can't remember what engine I had in here. Um, anyway, I'll have to look. I did all kinds of engine swapping around that I can't remember anymore. So yeah, um, of course, all the ropers are still here besides the 20T. And yeah, I'm going to get another video out soon.